Hello there, and uh, welcome to Andre's YouTube vlog for President's Day. It's uh, February 20th, 2012, and I'm going to be using this day to present, before I go out on a little uh, outing today down to the coast, my first volume of a kind of ongoing series I'm going to be doing every now and then called Andre on How Men Are. Now, I know that um, I'm no authority more than any other guy on the planet, complete authority on uh, what it means to be a male human being. But, you know, I do have some thoughts that I wanted to share with the public. And by the way, in case you're wondering, the title How Men Are came from an album by Heaven 17, uh, an 80s um, British group that I happen to like, and I just thought it was a great potential title for a vlog. So here we go. You know, I was thinking of uh, President's Day today and the fact that you know, George Washington and Abraham Lincoln, you know, fought in the American Revolution, grew up chopping wood in the case of Abe Lincoln and all of that. And, you know, people tend to look at those two as examples of rugged American individualism and what it actually means to be a man, so to speak. And I was just thinking that, you know, despite the fact that we've had feminist revolutions, suffragettes, um, girl power, all of that, and there are, those are subjects I'll get into a little bit later. I think, even though uh, men still deal with the twin desires of being sensitive and insensitive in relation to their manhood, a lot of them still, in a way, have some of the same instincts that they had 100 or 200 years ago. You know, that um, women are there to build a community while men are basically there to defend it. That pretty well covers it. And, you know, talking to some of my friends and even dealing with things I've dealt with, I notice one key word to this day that hasn't really changed for 200 years, whether it be through military intrigue or whether it be through athletics of any sort, the key thing to being a man to this day, and I think it's probably one of the most destructive elements of perceived manhood, is one word, competition. Something to think about. This is Andre signing out. See you next time.